Welcome to Age of Nova everyone, let's take a look at the upcoming May patch for Age of Empires 4. This month we'll see some small but much needed changes that the community has long asked for, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's start with the map sizes. Team game players can now rejoice as team map sizes has been reduced across the board. In quick match, 2v2 games will now be played on small, down from medium, 3v3 games on medium, down from large, and 4v4s on large, down from gigantic. In custom lobbies, we will still have the option to play on both map sizes, so if you were in the minority who liked the larger maps, you could still do that in custom lobbies. Maps overall have received some small touches as well. On Altai, the number of trees has been increased overall, as numerous additional small dense forests were added. According to the devs, this is mostly a change for the late game. On Mountain Pass, trade posts have been moved to spawn halfway between the corner of the map and wherever the mountain rage hits the map edge. According to the devs, this should help ease cases of trade being too vulnerable as soon as one team loses the center pass. That said, this description is a bit too vague for me, so without seeing where exactly they spawn, I can't comment much on this yet. One of my least favorite maps, French Pass, gets a slight rework to make him more sufferable and a bit more of an open map. I hated this map due to how easy it was to wall and cause a lot of stalemates and snooze fests. Thankfully, the developers apparently have broadened the openings on the side of the map to make it a bit more aggressive, so we'll see if that makes a difference. Boulder Bay will have some bugs fixed for player spawns, so nothing too major here. The Danube River gets a significant change though. Both trade posts will now spawn in opposing corners of the hill to ensure equal access to trade regardless of water control. Sacred sites were also slightly repositioned, and two boars were also added to the center of the island as well. Moving on, mods get a few issues ironed out as well, and one nice change now is the ability to select the local or published variants of your own mods when you are hosting a match. Good stuff. Regarding balance changes, there's a small but important list that we need to go through. One of the most requested changes by the community was to allow soldiers to attack stonewall foundations before they were fully constructed. Previously, quick walling an entire section with a few villagers before the enemy army could arrive was possible, essentially halting the advance altogether if there were no siege units with them. In a few days, this should not be possible, as you should be able to nuke down one section with your army to break in. Alongside the already existing nerfs from the previous patches, quick walling with stone walls should now be a thing of the past. Speaking of annoying turtling, the Chinese Unique Technology Extra Materials is also getting a rework. Although Extra Materials will no longer stack on single wall segments, it will now repair all wall segments within its range. To ensure this is not broken, its repair range is reduced from 12.5 tiles to 4 tiles. Finally, to aid the player with these changes, the devs will also add an Aura UI for the Chinese player to see which walls are within the range of extra materials. Without testing, I'm not sure how strong the extra materials will be and whether or not this is a nerf or a buff. What I can definitely say is that this should ensure that something silly like this clip posted on Reddit a while ago won't happen again. As you can see, even a stupid number of cannons were barely able to crack the walls open. The previous stacked bonus on a single wall section was very annoying to deal with, so I'm glad it's gone now. And finally, we get a nice set of bug fixes coming along as well. Here's the full list for your information. The ones that do stand out to me are the hotkeys fix, stuck villager fix, nest of bees reload time fix, and the fog of war tracking fix. These are always nice to see and I hope the developers can continue to clean up the game. The devs do mention at the end that there will be an event coming soon to the current season called The Sounds of Reverie, so I'll be sure to cover that once it's out. Well, that's all you need to know about the upcoming May patch for Age of Empires 4. As mentioned, it's one of those small but welcome changes to improve the state of the game even further. That said, stay tuned for an upcoming video on food upgrades on Age of Noob, so be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out. And thank you for those of you who continue to support me on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to test out the new multiplayer map sizes in May, and see you all in the next one.